be here today? Yeah, Mila's not gonna be here. And we're recording. Okay. And we're recording. We're recording. Yeah, Mila is. Uh, she's got like a plane in the morning. I see. <laughs> and Sirius just isn't here yet. We haven't heard anything from him, so I don't know if he's going to make it or not. But, uh, you know, maybe he'll drop in in a little while. Get our comic relief somehow. I didn't hear you. What? I said we're going to have to get our comic relief somehow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's Craig's job tonight. Yeah. You be the dog. No stress. You be the comic. No stress. Okay, and we're ready. Let's move on to my recap, because my recap is not very big, because it's been a long time, and I didn't have a lot of details to remember. It is the 16th of January. It's been a long time, hasn't it? For when we started this story, that was the day it was. The Second Inquisition has taken the Anarch Emily Costas. Perhaps they have her imprisoned somewhere. Perhaps she was destroyed. The Nosferatu caught Agent Kim, a person of low involvement in the Second Inquisition's FBI task force. He was a gift to Baron Valentina, a hope that she could use him to find her missing Bruja hacker. And Baron Valentina delivered the agent to the hands of the spines of the cactus. Now, the Zemisi Adriana is wearing Agent Kim's face, and the spines used it to lure out Special Agent Baker and another agent who was acting as his driver. It wasn't very difficult to capture Agent Baker and his driver, though the acting of Myla and Craig did leave something to be desired. Back in the van, with a host of hostages, the spines were able to turn up the heat on their interrogations. First, they questioned the driver, a true believer ready to fight and die to protect humanity from the monsters. There really wasn't much they could glean from him, but they did mention that Emily was in a box somewhere in a place called the Bunker. And I didn't write it on here, but his name, we named him at the end of the session, is Agent Gordon Jones. Jones. Of course, I guess you guys wouldn't know that, because he's not going to tell you what his friends call him. After putting him to sleep, the spines woke Special Agent Baker. Baker looked up saw that he had been captured and crunched his cyanide capsule. That is where we open. We just had uh, Jack scream at him. He foamed at the mouth and died. And Hector immediately looked for the cyanide capsule in uh, Agent Jones and removed it while he's still sleeping. I assume it's not something so difficult to remove that the guy woke up. I have first we're working with him, but I don't know. I mean that that could possibly be a pretty delicate procedure, but yeah. I mean he is magically put to sleep. Yeah, we'll say he hasn't woke up yet. Yeah. But I, I, um, but... If there's an argument against it somebody wants to make, then Nito. No no no, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well that's yeah, where we like, are. I'll, I'll I'll take it. Um in the surveillance van. I guess that okay. picture of Adriana is actually out of date. <laughs> you guys can continue, and I will uh, switch out Adriana. Okay. Okay. Say that again. I yeah, I didn't hear you. Plans for body disposal. Still didn't. Yeah. So I'm on speaker. Did Did you say anything? So sorry. No, Josh was asking if we had any plans for body disposal. Oh. Hmm. Well, right now Jack is just distraught, so he's not even. Yeah, Jack actually, as soon as that happens, after he yells, he like kicks the door of the van out, then just 
It's outside, slams the door. He goes off by himself for a bit. Whoops. I made everything go away. I'll have to go find that. I have no idea where. Okay. Oh yeah, it's all just black now. Mm. Well, cyanide's gonna be pretty hard to cover up. If we we're gonna have the body be found. Well, what they do for um anybody here watch Dexter? What one killer did was he would know. uh they all died he would like 20 years ago and Adriana died for like 30 years ago so probably not. Well <laughs> well well in Dexter what one killer did was he uh he took the he took a body he held it up he tied it upside down and just let all the blood come out and maybe if we get rid of all the blood in the system will that make it harder to detect detect no that's not going to change anything we're talking about in order for cyanide to affect uh, uh the body it, it it although it spreads quickly it isn't just located within blood oh hmm. yeah i know it'll be detected in the vitreous fluid and other things besides just blood oh okay probably the mouth too I, I didn't even think about that but it's in the saliva as well oh i think we're gonna have to burn this one jack opens right. the door we gotta, find a way, we, we gotta find a way to explain why the body isn't findable uh, do you guys how about we have the guy who impersonated Agent Kim now transform into this guy? I, I mean, didn't get have... good enough voice. Do you guys think that they know the difference at all between the Camarilla and the Sabat? Like, in terms of knowing that there's two different groups? Probably I not. I don't well, feel like they do. Well, he did say that he knows that there were a lot we're fighting, but I'm like he knows that well, there's a lot of infighting. Yeah. Well, he doesn't to them, care. It would, to them, it would seem like you know, two people who both like sports are yelling at different teams. That, as far as they're concerned, they're all sports teams. More like we're fighting over dominance for to get control of the humans. Yeah, you gotta you gotta think how they would look to you, how how they would see what you are, not necessarily what you are. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Burn the body and don't have an explanation. What are we gonna do about the fact that his superiors are gonna know that he went to meet Agent Kim? And then never came back. And what are they going to do with... We need to give Kim something to say. Well, the way I see it is, we've got two options. We could either uh, try to continue to infiltrate this situation, or use the cards that we have already and hit fast. Because at the moment, we are looking at a situation that can turn sour real quick. I mean, I've been against trying to get her from the start because of this exact reason, but... Well, it's a little late for that now. And for a penny and yeah. for a pound. I mean, if oh, we Steve. backed out... We backed out and cut our losses here. Then they know that their team is compromised and hit us harder. Uh, but if we also follow up on this and get her, they'll still hit us harder. Either way. In fact, yeah. even harder if we do that, I would think. But, God 
Dang it. They know if one of them are missing, they're assumed it's dead, and then it's personal. What we're asking is we are looking at a situation that we can't hide, we can't extricate ourselves, other than, you know, like, picking up and disappearing. So we have to find a way to either strike them all as a whole, or find or find a way to uh, re-establish uh, you know, veil. We we'll probably have to work quick. Yeah. Do we have access to to um, Agent Baker's phone? Yes. Or is it password protected? Or yes. Uh, does it have a fingerprint scanner? No. It has a. Is it an Apple phone that goes off his face? He wouldn't have that set. It's got the four, the four-letter pin code. Mm. Mm. That would have been too lucky. Well, okay. Here, here's the thing. With pin codes, I think you can still reach emergency services. So, what if we just we take his phone to the Sabat, we call nine one one. And we say that something happened, or we just call one nine one one, hang up, and leave his body over there where there's Sabat. Or I mean, do like a cut off screen. Yeah, like just cut off or. Oh, well, look yeah. at his phone. Is there a fingerprints on where the numbers are? Yeah. I mean, there are fingerprints over, but let's see. Something uh, perception based. Yeah. Let's just do intelligence and awareness. I'd also like to point out you to see our seventeen. I'd also like to point out that we probably have a limited number of tries yeah. before, before it shuts down. Just... Exactly. And we're still only gonna have a few different possible even if we identify the four or six numbers, you won't know the order. What's that? I'll make your roll for you. Thank you. Continue on CR 17 to learn how to do Intelligence. Zero. Two successes. Yeah, you're not finding it. Uh, you do have two failed dice. If you want to spend a willpower point, the willpower point you have. I'm not sure why not. Is good now. By the way, everybody who has any willpower points marked off, you heal. Uh, the lesser? Well, well, we'll we'll keep doing the greater for the rest of it. The greater of either your composure or resolve. So, we'll do that. And we'll power re roll two dice. Not three dice, two dice. You get two more. Now you have four. Uh, so, at your best guess, it looks like it uses uh, seven, four, and two. In his four digit code. You think? Well, you're only gonna have three chances, and the odds of getting it are, are low, so what combos do we wanna try? Well, we have to try and figure out what this person would most likely choose as their numbers. In, or rather, the sequence. You guys so, have what number would those numbers mean? To figure out the sequence to open. And that is with Jessica's ability to <laughs> premonition. Hmm. If you want to attempt. Sure. 
Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Destination will be on the left. So that costs. I already took your character sheet away. That's a rouse. Yeah, it's a rouse check, and then I don't remember what the roll is. Anyone remember what the roll is? No. It was just a rouse. Oh, there's a roll. Yeah, I think it's just. Maybe you have it in, in your. Uh... I'm on computer for you. It's resolve plus aspect. Discipline, which is what you have on there. Yeah, resolve and discipline. Okay. Which is, yeah. That should be your rouse check. Thanks, Jimmy. Success. That is not enough, but you do have three failed dice. If you want to willpower again, why not? It's early in the night. Let's live dangerously. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs willpower? One more. Okay. So, as you concentrate, you focus. You get. I don't know. You get the first three numbers, but you're not pulling up the last number. Uh, well, that's better than what we had. I don't remember what numbers. Are. <sighs> They're the same numbers as what I told you. It's like, what, seven, four, and two? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I just pulled those numbers out my ass, so I don't remember them anymore. Okay, so... Well, if I'm only pulling up three numbers, then why not have one of those numbers repeat? Okay. So you've got three tries, and you've got three numbers to try. So where do you push? Um... 4277. 4277. And it opens. What? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god. <laughs> it's magic. Jeez. Okay. Don't look at me that way. <laughs> all right, what do we need to know? He has a picture Well, first of all, Warcraft Paladin as the home screen page on his phone. Oh. He was a good guy after all. From like, a, from like 10 years ago. Okay. Well, I mean, is there any, like, does anybody have an email we can send, like, contacts and addresses or any of that information to? Yeah. We need to just, we should write down all of the contacts, and we need to quickly go through all of the relevant messages and write down what information we can, and then... We need to send a message using his phone that he's going to to give an explanation of where he's going and why, and then leave his body there. Something. Okay, well, as you guys are scrolling through but, phone... Well, right if now, we're going to drop his body at this spot... What'd you say? I don't even know where this spot is. You could just go drop his body in water somewhere. Yeah. Oh, what? Is yeah, it, that is it's true. It's the spines of the cactus fucking job to keep the spot out of the city. They don't know where they are. Well, where do we never go? Um. Nowhere. It's your, it's your job to keep them out of the city. If there's a place where you uh. thought they were, then that's what you would be doing. Yeah. That's what you guys were doing. Yeah. That's what the previous we're, story was. Yeah, we're basically border patrol, but we need to be CIA for this. Right. Um, okay, so... Well, first, can I just go through, through the phone? Messages. He, has, he has messages from uh, Garcia. He has messages from... Who's the other big guy? Uh, time. Time. He has messages from Jonesy. In fact, that's his most recent one. Was get the car. Uh, 
Uh, he's got some messages from it? family, <laughs> from a couple of from friends, but going through the uh, the messages from the important people, they don't talk about anything important. It's all uh, meet me here at this time, and you know that kind of stuff. They're not having discussions about vampire politics in their phone. Uh, that makes sense. Location history. Yeah. Um, there was something else I wanted to bring up, but I forgot what it was. If I bring, if I remember, I'll bring it up. So yeah, that's uh -huh, you're not really getting any information, but you do have contact information with these people. Though. Oh, and also there's a uh, Luke, who you heard mentioned briefly from. Agent Kim, was it? I don't know. Somebody mentioned Luke like once, and he has a couple of messages from Luke that were even today. What did he talk to Luke about? Uh, there's a meeting at at the bunker in at uh, like ten hundred hours, and then Luke responds mm. with, "Yeah, I'll be there." Okay. For the bunker. Did he, does, is there any uh, photos that could be like any photos that would be of use? Like anything yeah. in the in the save files, the media. He seems to be into fantasy. He's got some things from like memes from. Uh, Game of Thrones, Wheel of Time, Lord of the Rings, hmm. Star Wars. Oh my gosh. But there's no like pictures of, we think this guy's a vampire. No. Yeah. No, it's mostly just private stuff. And then the only thing officially going through their phones is, uh, you know, uh, meetup times. You know, really, they're using um, phones the way you guys should be using your phones. Are, are there any pictures of any family members? Yes. Yes? Yeah. What's, what's he got? He's got uh, a sister in, I don't know, Tennessee. Okay. And so he's, he's not married, doesn't have kids? No. Okay. Well, does he have a uh... parent somewhere else in California? Mm. Does he have any recent search history on Google? Like, can you look up his history or, or words? Like, you know how when you type in something, it'll give you like recommendations. Yeah, if you just type it in blank, it shows up your like your last ten searches or so. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah. Yeah, but now that's gonna be kindred related. Yeah, none of it. Nothing is kindred related or FBI related or Second Inquisition related. No, it's all things like uh, like uh, Warcraft, Warcraft, and, yeah, Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like. Off, and that's what he does. It's like the, the first five searches: Battle of Minas Tirith, Battle of yeah. <laughs> just. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm just glad that I as Jack don't relate to this guy as much. Yeah. Um, so I don't get any of it other than like the Lord of the Rings. And I like that as a movie series. But yeah, Craig's kind of like bummed because he figured he would have gotten along with the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, we need to decide. Because we're not really getting anything. He was disciplined in his phone use. To decide, as a group, what we're going to do in the short term and the long term. In the short Hector, term... Hector is probably pushing to, uh, to do what you can to get Emily now. 
because it's yeah. going to be harder to get her once they find out this guy's dead. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I say uh, there is nothing to be gained in trying to hide because they already know everything. I say we hit them hard and we hit them now. Hit them where, though? We don't know where they're keeping her, and the odds of like... us being able to get into that institution without being destroyed are low. The odds of us getting out, slim to none. Yeah, it's a good, yeah, it's a good speech, but details. details. This guy still knows well, uh, Agent George, what's his face? Yeah, grabbing Jonesy by the hair and lifting his head up. This guy still knows stuff. He, he should know where this bunker is. How bloody do we want to get? I, uh, if we... Okay. The way I see it, the only way that this works out is some kind of infiltration, and that's it. Like, get in and get out. Well, definitely get in quietly. At least get out safely. Because the thing is, is... If if we went head to head, one we'd lose. My belief. I'm sure they're armed to the teeth with assault rifles with incendiary rounds that well, you know. The guy did say that you know they are just a small group that are trying to work within the bounds of uh, normal, uh, mundane society, and because of that, that does give us an edge because. They can't just, the remaining individuals can't just say, look out, throw garlic at these people because they're vampires. Because ultimately, they're going to get laughed out of uh, uh, everything. Our best option, if we were going to try and uh, infiltrate, is just get in and uh, attempt to make a withdrawal. Or, and this is my personal vote, Get in and kill everybody. I... Well, that would be bad. Yeah. I'm well, gonna... we're already in bed. What yeah, about that? If we hold on, if we did that and we, you know, mission successful, we killed everybody, we got Emily out. Congratulations. They're going to send 10 times what they had before and they're not going to stop hunting us down. The entire task force is here. No, but the, it's the no, that's a, it's the whole yeah. It's it's just a section of it. They destroyed all of the kindred in L.A. Agent Baker, obviously, I'm not saying that they're not formidable. I'm just saying that what Agent Baker's <laughs> phone goes off with a Tie Fighter sound. He just received a what? What's it say? It's from Luke, and it says, Are you okay? I have a bad feeling. Guys, what do you want to say to this? I'm going to try to copy his manner with messaging the guy. How long do you spend doing it? It shouldn't take more than five minutes. Spend about five minutes hey, going so. over his mannerisms, trying to copy that. What do you send back? Not specifically, just <laughs> what do you send back in, you know, in your own language, and then convert it to this. And then we'll roll for your conversion. Um, just. I don't think we. No, man, it's good. Your insights. So well. Look, if we want to get Emily out. We need to minimize casualties as much as possible. I'm talking knocking people unconscious, like putting people to sleep, non-lethal wounding. Like, well, uh, we know where the werewolves are. What if we leave a body in that area? I don't know that they know the difference. Do we want to share the veil we... even more? Well, Because that's what the werewolf option is. True, but it it's it's for it's out of the city, right? 
it could lead them towards them, and that would be good for us to get them off our trail. So what do you send back to Luke? Okay. Just, uh, yeah, everything's fine. Or you have anything specific you want to Yeah, that's cool, bro. Okay, he doesn't respond. Okay. We don't know if he took it well or not. But we're not even going to roll for you because you're good at the roll that I would have. Look, uh, I, from my perspective, is it good stuff here? It turns out. we need to just hide. We need to, we need to get rid of this body and we need to hide. I don't support trying to get Emily back, but I know you guys feel different. But if we do try to get um, get her. We need to try to do it discreetly. That's that's my contribution. One that we shouldn't try to get her at all. But if we do, we need to get her discreetly. Okay, that's that's fair. This is such an important conversation. I really wish Sirius Jess was here. <laughs> yeah. Mila too, for that matter. Okay, I see where you're coming from and that you want to, like, continue to, like, minimize casualties and all that. But I'll tell you right now, we've got a dead agent. Yeah, we didn't kill him. Yeah, he uh, pulled his suicide option. But as far as they're concerned, we're cop killers. No, that's even yeah, so let's just kill more people. If the Second Inquisition finds out that he... That yeah. He did suicide button. Then that's even worse because that says that he was involved with vampires, and not, you know, just randomly picked. That's off. my point. Yeah. It's look. If we kill more of them, it's going to draw more attention. Like this task force that's in El Paso isn't all of them. It's a small fraction. They're going to be doing investigations everywhere. But if this, if we do it like you're wanting, they're going to pull tons of more resources. And then all of our successes will be undone in a matter of months as they systematically hunt us all down. Well, what... Fred kind of, like, hesitates. How much do we want the, this... Uh, what's the one who's alive? Agent... Um, Kim? 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 No, the other one. The one who's angry. Yeah. Uh, would, would it be all right to say have him... To mesmerize him into attacking the body of Agent Baker and making it, setting it up to look like they got into an altercation and that's where the death came from? Once again, you're dealing with the, you know, cyanide. How do we explain the cyanide? What um, if we... The wrong punch in the chin. Yeah, like they, they fought each other and it just, it was a, a bad punch, bad angle. Okay. Or, you know, let's play off of the uh, jealous boyfriend drunk altercation. You know, he, he stepped in and got his jaw whacked, and that's what caused the cyanide to break. I like okay, that, actually. What if we, we went with that? What if we okay, went with something along the lines of... What if we went with something along the lines of... Him and Kim got in an argument about something. Kim was drinking irresponsibly got into a fight. Why don't we send a message to this guy, something along the lines of Agent Kim is a bit tipsy, though, and he's being a dick. Or something like that. So that well, we can sort of... If he's supposed to be belligerent, you gotta play it harder than that. You know, yeah. He's being drunk and very aggressive. You know? So, yeah, and then say something's wrong with Agent Kim. So, uh, obviously, they're gonna think there's kindred involvement, but... Well, what if you use like a, a reference to like Star Wars or like the fantasy things that the guy's obviously a big fan of? Like, hey, he's acting like somebody from something like this or. Well, the other you know, guy like... even, I mean, I wouldn't know what the references are, but would the other guy even get it? No, but he would just figure, OK, this is Star Wars stuff. Like he can look it up and see, oh, yeah, this is Star Wars stuff. This is something this uh, this guy mm. likes. To me, that would seem a little strange, but. I, it also might I, don't, I don't know about that stuff, so... You need to find out if... You know, go through his texts and see if he is... Uh, how professional he is in his texts to... Uh, to the people well, that you're... Well, I'm saying if I'm going to put him up for the fall... Then we gotta, you know, give him 
something to fall over. And, you know, as much as there are flame wars in little internet forums, saying your fandom sucks is not enough to try and kill somebody. Generally. I mean, they, we know that both of them are really big, you know, fan uh, fans. I mean, Kim basically slipped and gave uh, Adriana all the information, all the talking she needed once he found out that once his opinion on a, a, a sci-fi was different. Okay, like I guess we can sell we can sell that, but we still got uh, uh, Agent, you know, Grump over here, who uh, and uh, Kim's partner who was in the van that we've got to explain where you know, why what he was doing at the time, and you know what are we doing with Agent, you know. George McGrumperson, you know. I'm I'm just yeah. saying we can sell this. We just need to follow. We just need to fill all the holes. Yeah. I support doing that. Um. We still haven't decided on the long term plan and if we want to try to. Get her back or not. Again, my position is that we shouldn't. Uh, Obviously, hackers is that we should. Out of character. Uh, this is a really big uh, decision, and I think it. we kind of need to have everyone's input if we're going to try and make something this big. You know? Well, we've been out trying of to character, make I agree. But, you know... I, I figured I'd bring that up, you know, before we make any. Well, I mean, if big you guys decision. wanna pause it here and pick it up when we have a full party, we can do that. Maybe, maybe we should just focus on the short-term objective of getting rid of. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah and then once we complete that, we stop there. Okay. Okay. I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah that works. Okay. Do we all agree on the agent Kim got drunk, accidentally killed him, option? Yes. All okay. right, then we're also gonna have to fill his brain with panic because he has. Like, he... Okay. They may they may believe it just from the thing of maybe they'll they'll think that vamp that we were messing like you know they don't know the extent of our mind powers and maybe they they think oh this isn't normal Kim somebody messed with him but that'll just make them more fearful. Um. So. Why don't we? Okay, I think first we should probably send a message about the to support Agent Kim being belligerent to sort of set the seeds, and then say that Agent Kim is telling him, like leading him somewhere, and that's where we'll leave the body. Okay. Also, if we're working on that angle, then we might want it to uh, put in a hypnotic suggestion that. If anyone starts to bring up any of his fandoms outside of a positive light, he goes postal. Yeah. So if somebody says you really gonna yo know, knock him out for saying yo know, alien that Promethean was better than you know the rest of the alien series, okay. Well, I'm just saying you know you gotta try and cover up all the holes. I know you can't change personalities. Well, that's why I said if it's a hypnotic suggestion yeah. then you know you, you can uh have that be a trigger. To, uh, trigger yeah i don't i can't do that uh, right. Man, nice to buy that oh no not even close no it's Damn it. it's a four it's a three or a four yeah it's got to be a three or a four and i only have three experience so i'm not anywhere near that yeah, and, uh, I'm, I'm building a more well-rounded yeah, person i'm not yeah I didn't think so. I could double check. But I'm pretty sure, it, especially once I decided that she had a. Uh, Assistitude. I, I think she only had yeah. two. We could, of course, give Agent Kim false memories, support it, but make it sort of vague so that he believes that he actually did it himself. Sure. 
But uh, we we'd have to put it in under a uh, drunk haze. Yeah, I could use forgetful mind on him. Yeah, she has that too. Yeah, you know, it's it's gonna be a four. The, uh, the okay. Whatever it's called, the trigger. Is it submerged directive? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like yeah. it would be. Um. Yeah. So. I mean, we can we can convince Cam that he killed him. So, so what's the story that we're going to do that, that makes sense? Because we already, we have the text messages showing that he asked them to, to show up for these kind of things. Or the, you know, they're taking kids in or whatever. But I think that was said over the phone, right? So, uh, they're in person. I think that was in person. Yeah, I think the only thing... I believe that I said that. Was the the phone. Phone. Yeah. So, what's the story? So they met at the bar. What happened then? Uh, maybe we take them to a nearby comic shop or, or a bookstore. Have uh, Agent Kim punch the the deceased agent's body so that it's hard, like at a hard angle, and make it look like he like an angle that might have been the well, detonated the hill. We any of us can make a punch to yeah, to uh, to leave quote unquote that type of damage at that kind of angle. Yeah, but, but I you, think but I think what we're, what we're trying to sell here <laughs> is the scenario. Yeah, but I mean, like you want you want Kim's DNA on his his face. But I, I meant, well, did he lick his fist before he punched him? No, but when you punch people, doesn't like the skin come off? Little flakes. I'm, I'm just, I don't know much about forensics. Uh, Not really. Not like that. No, Not no. for like I mean, a one like quick punch. Right. Well, if he like left me his knuckles grazed, uh, too. Sorry, huh? Gene, I didn't hear you. <laughs> but like, what if his knuckles like grazed one of uh, the agent? What if Kim's knuckles grazed one of the tooth, and so that would like scar his. Uh, it would sell it. Yeah, we could. But so we look, they're going to track the phone. They know that he came over here. OK. Now. We need to somehow implicate Kim in terms of Kim hiding the body. Kim is going to try to hide the body badly. Obviously. Uh, so where does Kim try to take him? Which is where uh, we are going to take him and leave him. His body. Probably well, like a dumpster, dumpster would be easiest. Well, well it's for dumpster. Here's the thing. It would it would also kind of like fit his situation if he tr if he quote unquote would try to quote unquote pin it on us, but obviously badly. So a dumpster by Hector's gym? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's clever. Um run run this shit. <laughs> yeah. So we're also look, I can also plant a fake memory and what is the other guy's name who's here? Jonesy? Okay. And we've also, we've got Jonesy. Uh, uh, Kim's Jerry. in the yeah, Jerry. So there's two other guys. Yeah, you guys have yeah. Kim, Jonesy, Jerry, and Dead Agent Baker. Okay, we're gonna need to plant memories in both of their minds as well to support this. Well, um, but of course, all, all we gotta do. Is, okay, we don't have to do that for Jerry. We could have Jerry uh, have something different, but he was not close by when this uh, situate when this you know uh, event took place. His phone. Odds are, yeah. Well, they're gonna they're gonna geolocate his phone. He's here, so we need to give him something that supports it. Here, Some kind of reason why they. He was supposed to be here. Watch yeah, the who's I, the guy who was supposed? To, who who, who was the guy? Which is what is the name of the guy who was with Baker in the van? Jones. Uh, Mr. Dead Agent. 
No, 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 no. Baker had a guy with him. Yeah, so Jones. What is Jones's? Yeah. Um, we need to figure out what the memories are going to be for Jones, what they're going to be for Kim, what they're going to be for uh, the third guy. And, and when, while we have them, I, we should try to get the information of where, uh, she's located out of them. In addition. You know what? Uh, I'd like to apologize. I spoke in uh, uh, haste earlier. I up and up until this point, I kind of figured that the situation was unrecoverable, but now this is making more and more sense. No worries. It's not a good situation. We're just trying to make it work. Um, Welcome to our life. Huh? No, I was saying welcome to our lives. Yeah. Uh, so, first things first, I guess let's try to get this info of where she's located, where the location is of this bunker from Holmes. Jones. Jones. Yeah. Okay, you guys wake up Agent Jones again. Okay, I don't want him to let's before we do that, let's make sure that Baker's like not visible to him at all. Um just because oh, we don't want him to know. You take him outside or you hide him under a blanket? Uh just just hide him. Baker's tied up though, right? Oh, I would hope so. Yeah, he'd still be tied up. Okay, so I can't comp I can't use dominate to compel him to give me information. So I can. We're gonna have to just try to see what we can do. So his, his name is Jones, right? Yes. Mhm. Mm okay. And Hector removed his cyanide capsule. Yeah, he's probably in pain because of that, which could yeah. work in their favor. Mm. Okay, yeah, he's waking up. Why would he be in pain? Because we removed the cyanide capsule. Now, we mm. decided that it wasn't that big a deal. It didn't even wake if it's up. implanted in its tooth, it does. Yeah. Oh. Serious just messaged. That's the exact reason I don't go to Long John Silver's anymore. <laughs> I haven't been there and God, I don't know when. Yeah. It was one of my favorite places. I got sick at work. They're like, what did you eat? Long John Silver's? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least oh, they believed yeah. you. Well enough, but then they jacked up their prices and they're trying to act like a fancy restaurant. Oh, really? No. That's, no, 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 no. I'm listening that up with something else. Don't listen to me. Oh, okay. Okay. Special Agent Jones. He's just Agent Jones. Agent Jones. Oh, d d does he correct me, or is that you, Sestin? Uh, yeah, no, that was me. Yeah, he's waking up. Oh. Okay. Oh, We're still here. Look. We just want one piece of information. Give us the location of the bunker 
that you're keeping our friend at. So we can break in and get her out. No one's going to be hurt. It's going to be like a burglary. All we want. Persuasion and charisma roll. Okay. Well, good thing I am just an expert on this oh, wow. one die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have high manipulation, not charisma. He's not the good cop. No. Like, I'm a nice guy, but I'm not a persuasive guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, but fuck you. Fuck you, Blank. Hey, that's almost, you know, cute when you think about it. Blankety Blank. <laughs> okay. You guys took my cyanide. Oh, you noticed, yep. huh? Shit, probably should have used that. Mm -hmm. Hindsight no. is twenty twenty. There's no need. Don't need it. We're not going to kill you. So it would have been bad if you had killed yourself. That's not what we want. How about this? What if I cut you a deal of some kind? When I say that, how does he react? Just to the the, the phrase he "cut chuckles. you a deal of some kind." He chuckles, wanna... feigning the feigning not being afraid. Okay, out of character. I have no idea how I can try to convince this guy, but I'm just trying to think of a way that it would be manipulating instead of. Well, what <laughs> persuading. I do, what I would do is uh, mesmerize him and tell him to drive. Oh. Well, the problem with that is if they're tracking the cell phone, won't it show that that we we went there with um with the other? Leave the cell phone here. Leave oh. his cell phone here. Who says and he's track. Not supposed to be going back there after the meeting. Well, we can have them go back after, but or or not. Anyway, that's I mean, true. what if if I was in you guys' position, that's something it, I would yeah. take into consideration. For. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Um, it's a good idea. Because you guys are much more so. of a domination bunch than a persuasive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what we could do, actually, if we really wanted to, is we could have him drive one of us there so we can locate it, then drive back, and then we'll give memories. Like, we don't even, like, what if we even went, like, we change their memories so that, like, it all happened and like they saw Kim do it and we like leave right after and let them deal with the aftermath. You know what I mean? Like, and not even have the body be hidden. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that makes sense. Like it, it was just like a chaotic mess that happened. Nothing, nothing pretty, uh, planned or anything. It was, I mean, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Cause then, cause the idea that the other two would have false memories, um, the idea that the other two would have false memories of, but like, like, like the guy who drove him, like he's not going to drive back without him. Like there's no logical reason. So like, I feel like we need to basically just implant false memories and then the three of them and then just let them deal with it. You know? Well, okay. So. Just yeah. To have Jerry's be like, you know, normal. Yeah, we can so, literally have him just, you know, do what he's doing, I, and that's then really simple. Yeah, you know, basically, you know, from his perspective, say, 
hey, I'm going to go step out. And then he finishes the rest of his night normally. So, and then, you know, that fits into a panicky uh, Kim because he wouldn't come back. So, you know, as far as Jerry's concerned, I think that's the way to go. Plus, I have this name. Also, I have to walk to the mall. I just don't understand. (laughs) There's also the fact that Hector punched out was it the passenger or the driver's side window of the van? Yeah. Taking out this guy. The driver's Mm -hmm. side. Yeah. We're probably going to need to somehow roll that into the story. Like, well, here here's an idea, and I don't know um, if Dominate will if you can do this with Dominate. But what if we have uh, the guy in the van, one of the guys in the van, drive up into the into the base when we get there, and then just start shooting at walls, you know, pretending to try to shoot people, and then we use that as a distraction to get in. That seems like a l- latter part of the plan. That we don't have to. That that we should focus on uh, selling the lie first. Okay. That seems more like once we start infiltrating. Yeah. Can I just? Uh, can I just cloud? Yeah, I'm just gonna cloud memory on this guy and just knock him out, or not knock him out, but I'm just gonna cloud memory and just like keep cloud memorying him for a bit as we talk through this. I like men in black with the flash meeting. Yeah, like we keep having a conversation, and I just keep flashing them. Okay. You can't. Um, you keep wiping. You can't cloud memory. Yeah. That that we're like some lo- long lost friends. Uh, cloud memory just basically gives them a haze of what just happened. Oh, okay. Um, it's not actually something like active changing yeah. of memories. It's just. I can, but I don't need to do that right now. Um. So. Now we just need to figure well, out. Yeah. Now we just need to figure out. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, I don't want to knock him back out. Yeah. Um. So we just. Uh, oh, you're still an we... asshole. I thought maybe you'd be better after your nap. Forget everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also, we need to probably put a cyanide capsule back. Well, if Good. we're going to try and... Uh, there is a way that we could sell it. Where you know, he sees Kim coming out of the bar with the body and freaking out. And would be like, no, I... Nah, never mind, that doesn't work. I'm thinking... Here's what I'm thinking. Kim... What a placebo in there. Huh? <laughs> Oh, but if they find his, if they like capture him and then try to try to take the the pill out, then they're gonna know it's not the real one. But why would they? Uh, that's true. He's, yeah, he's gonna be like taking Kim into custody. If you know what I'm saying? That's a good idea, actually. Too, if it's not in the exact perfect position, it's going to feel wrong. So you have to be really, really good with shit like that. Well, actually, we could, you know, cover that up by uh, having Kim resist and try hitting him in the jaw that way. And basically, it's resettled the tooth or whatever. Sure. I think that works. So here's here's my initial idea of how the story went. He met Kim at the bar. Kim started to drink, um, stress the job, whatever. Uh, they drive back to here. Um, they are arguing the whole time because Kim doesn't want to be in it anymore or something. He's too scared. And then uh, then Agent Baker says something along the lines of you're a coward. We're protecting our country and humanity or something. Kim throws a punch and then and then the guy starts foaming at the mouth and he realizes what happens. Um 
and so this is in uh, the other guy's car, the guy who's driving Baker, not in the other van. Kim panics. The other guy tries to take him into custody. Kim starts to resist. He like elbows that guy in the jaw trying to resist and the guy backs off a bit. Um, the other guy sees Kim like bust out the back of the van and run into the street and then gets out like what the heck is happening. And then the other guy yells and explains what it is. And then they both pin him down and. Um, and then they like we leave them with that rewrited memory and then they have and then they'll do whatever. They'll obviously call it in. So clever. Yeah. They're all all in the same van then. Uh well the other guy they'd be in the street at this point. But okay. and, and and we're of course leaving like like we move our vehicle to the others like away and then as we leave them we run off and then we're driving away on a different street so they don't see us drive away as they're sort of left with this haze like so when they all come to it's gonna be with these fake memories with kim pinned like on the street uh by the other two guys basically sometimes okay i i think that's saleable but let's get the location of this you know bunker first yeah, so and why don't we send a message now from Kim to the guy um, basically saying basically to support some of this, just saying Kim's not handling the stress of the mission too well. He's Sounds getting good. drunk. He's being, you know, whatever. And by the time that we okay. get back after finding it, we can have had that all yeah. happen. That's sellable. We, I say we can do that. That's providing Luke knows who Kim is. He could just say co-worker has having issues. Got to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, however, yeah, however they want it, want to phrase it that fits with his, the way he talks about it. Um, so I'm going to stop wiping the guy. Uh, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to mesmerize oh, him. We've got to get uh, one of them to take us to the bunker and then set this all up. Yeah, I'm going to take the phone out of his pocket and I'm going to give it to you guys. Or, and then I'm going to say, everybody else, get out of this van. I'm going to have him take me there. Um, and then have him come back. Okay. So, make your so where's the bunker? Uh, okay. An eight. So oh, it's just, uh, yeah. Oh, geez. One success. <laughs> okay, well, um, you want to re you could. <laughs> Two successes. I don't remember what I gave him. Resistance roll last time. Six. Six. No. I'm not going to the world. Dang it. Three. Okay. Well. I was like, can't and Adriana make that roll if, if necessary? Well, what we need to deal with is the beast. Oh. So he has a bestial failure. Oh. And I gained a hunger. And he gained a hunger. <laughs> So the bestial failure um, is the big deal here. Uh, I'm at four. Let me look up bestial failure exactly. This is like the first time we've actually had a bestial failure. Didn't Jack have another bestial failure last time? Uh, no, it was like a bestial success, I think. Yeah, oh, okay. Success. No, wait, Craig had that once. Bestial failure. Uh, a failed roll, not enough successes to reach the difficulty or to beat an opposing con uh, contestant's number of successes in which one or more hunger dice come up with a one is a bestial failure. Although the character failed, 
because their beast manifested in a, inopportunely or excessively, or the character's failure angered them, uh, angered their beast into manifesting inopportunely or excessively. The following are good results from a bestial failure. The character must act out of compulsion. We could do with the compulsion. Uh, for players new to the game or troops that want their characters less prone to uh, acting on urges, choose one of the options below. The character loses a dot new advantage as, uh, as if it was a mess critical. The character suffers one or more points of aggravated health damage. This result works well for bestial failures on resistance rolls. And no one in the group can come up with a good idea. The hunger reduced by one. Well, probably just the compulsion. Okay, so we're going to give you the Venture Compulsion. Well, no, the Venture Compulsion is arrogant. We're going to give you the one that actually fits the situation, which is the one you had before. The one where you doesn't it work? Somebody, somebody um, oh, obey you. Okay. Because that's what so I'm trying to have done, and he, he is resisting this. Is no, I, I will not take you. And okay, so in you. so basically, I I say I say to him, what I had said was. Drive me in the van to, and you guys have, have exited the van, so you see me doing this, you don't hear it. But I said, drive me to the bunker and then drive me back. And then he said no. And all you guys are seeing is sort of just like a twitch in Jack's eye. And then the pupils dilate a bit more. <laughs> I grab him by the throat and like lift him up in his seat a little bit. And like push him back against the the like the chair uh rest. Like, You're gonna fucking listen to me! I've been nice enough to you little insignificant act And then I don't know how long the compulsions uh, last. Until someone obeys you. Which in this situation okay. is gonna need to be him. So make me an intimidation and Good at manipulation. Manipulation. Yeah. Okay. Um. Probably shouldn't be manipulation, honestly. Cause... Well, he's trying to get him to do what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's is... manipulating yeah. him. Well, I'm. Yeah. Well, what I also say is, I used to be in law enforcement with you idiots, Ugh, having to deal with you stupid grunts. You guys just don't get it. You never pay attention. I'm trying to fucking save this world. You're going to listen to me because it's for the greater good, whether you get it or not, you idiot. As I'm also choking him. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah, we're gonna do intimidation and something. Uh, how about? Okay. Uh... No, you did intimidation and something. I did intimidation and manipulation, but if you'd like me to roll something. Else instead, I can. What is your manipulation? Two? Three. Three? Okay, your intimidation is what's bad? Yeah, it's just a what one. You have four in. Uh, I have four in intelligence. Yeah, because I was actually thinking about intelligence. So roll one I mean, I'll take it. I'll roll an extra die. Yeah. Here, I'll roll an extra one. It's a four. Okay, yeah. So it's so still two successes. Two successes. A lot of what your problem is that you're hungry as fuck. Yeah. So that's, so that's if I re-rolled, I'd only get one. Yeah. No, yeah. Can you go over there and knock on the window? Or not? I, I can't hear what you're saying, Janine. You're just cutting out a lot. We'll We'll see what Janine has said in a second. This guy is just shaking his head, resisting, and his whole body is shaking, and you think his bowels just released. 
No, I'm not fucking taking you. Ugh. Jeez. So he doesn't, all right. Fucking hungry as hell, and maybe we should just eat this guy. The, the thought is coming in your head. Your beast is like, we should just fuck this guy. Okay, and then Janina does something. What did you say? Okay, what did you say? Well, no, I was gonna go up, knock on the window, and say, hey, can I give an assist? Okay. Yeah, you see the okay. and go knock on the window. Yeah, she knocks on the window. Okay, I reach with my left hand and roll it down. What? As I'm choking the guy with the other hand. Um. So I'm like touching his hand and saying, why don't you let me help? Alright, I... Mechanically, I don't know. Is she able to help with a com compulsion at all, or... Try her own best, Bryce. Yeah, because I'm I'm just wondering, like, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I'll just, I'll just role play it out. They're not understanding. None of these people are understanding. Why can't they just figure it out that we're on their side? That I'm on their side. That I Jack starts crying blood. That I want to be on their side. And then I let go of them for a second. They just don't get it, Janina. They don't understand you're not genius. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I did that. It's okay, you're in the moment. Seize the moment. Well, I mean, um, seizing the moment is going back to trying to pressure this guy for me right now. Uh, no, I'm just telling you as the person playing the character. You're having a good time. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, um, okay. Got it. All right. Did I ever mention I'm awkward? You can smell um, it. Anyhow, this, guy, so... this guy has released his belt in his fear. But oh he's no! Refusing. Okay, he's so you could... so let me see. What is my what's in my bag of tricks as far as mesmerize and stuff goes? That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, mesmerize and cloud memory. <laughs> Yeah, I just oh. here's what I do. Uh, well, I let, just, me, let me go ahead and just try clouding his memory first because okay. yeah, that was just kind of. Yeah. Well, I just he needs to not remember that. Yeah, I just I I say if you think you can get him to listen to me, then fine. And I yank his head around so that he's making eye contact with her. So uh, go ahead and cloud memory. You don't need to worry about rolling versus a human. It also, there's no rouse check. So. Right. Okay. Okay. He, and he calms down. I've still got my hand around his neck, but I just loosen it slightly. Okay. And so I was going to remind me what I can do with Mesmerize. You can Cause... give him a command. A simple command, not, not like drop that. You can actually give him a command that takes some time to do, like walk to the mall or uh, drive me to Las Vegas. Okay, so I'm gonna tell him to drive us to the bunker. Okay. Well, no, the, the mesmerize is a one-way command. It's not a multiple-step command. So I'll go ahead and get in the car with uh, Jack and him. Oh no. You get six dice. Let's get two beasts in the car. <laughs> one, two, three, four successes on his. And you are looking this at guy is too one strong. Success, one success with a, a bestial failure and two dice that you can re roll, which would take you to three, which will still be a bestial failure. So now let's pick a oh. for her. Should we go with the Malkavian compulsion? Delusion. The extrasensory gift running wild, the vampire experiencing what might be truths or portents, but what others call figments of imagination, dredging up by her 
hunger. While still functional, the vampire's mind and people's and the vampire's mind and perceptions are skewed. They receive a two die penalty to all dexterity, manipulation, composure, wits, and to resist terror frenzy for the scene. Great. So yeah, your your beast is just loose and something something clicked in your mind and now you're seeing shit that's all over the place that you know isn't there but it looks like it's there and every you're you're just completely confused you see a big ass arrow pointing to the north it says emily and it's flashing in neon and then <laughs> you, you have like a hundred visions going on at the same time and Ooh, the arrow let's follow the arrow get in push him over and say i'm driving I'm gonna follow that arrow. Okay. Okay. I. Mm, I'll, I guess I'll just yank the guy over to my seat, let her get in the driver's seat, and just sort of pin him against the, the window and just cover his mouth. Alright, now we're gonna make a premonition roll. That's using resolve. Was resolve on your list of shit that's fucked up? Dexterity, manipulation, no. exposure, which. No, so that's good. Okay. Mm. Hunger game. Of course. And you beast, you'll fail this. <laughs> well, she could willpower reroll that. Your shit. Yeah, actually, well, she could yeah, will. You can reroll this. Yeah, because Jessica's not hungry. She is now. Yeah. I, yes. Well, not oh, as hungry. Well, so, yeah, you can. You have three failed dice that you can reroll. Okay. I'm gonna have no willpower left after this. Willpower reroll three. You get one more success. So you are at two successes. Let me read Premonition and see like what your target number is. Why aren't you open? Stupid computer, do stop. Okay. Premonition. The vampire experiences flashes of insight. These take the form of raised heckles, sudden inspiration, or even vivid visions. While never too precise, these visions can nudge the, the vampire out of harm's way or reveal a truth previously overlooked. Whatever the storyteller deems it appropriate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the user can also provoke premonition by focusing on a subject making a rouse check resolve plus aspects number of successes will determine the level of insight okay so how many successes did you have two mm. two okay so we're not gonna worry about the bestial failure you even with one success you just glean not very much okay yeah you have this big glowing neon sign in your vision Okay. So, you guys drive off. You still have him in the van? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I'm I mean, just, I'm keeping his mouth covered. I person would have put him back where we were going to plan on having him, but neither one of us are clearly thinking. Yeah. yeah, we just drove off and left the rest of the guys. Okay. So, yep, you get out on, uh, onto the highway and you're just driving north. So, Jack, she is dodging cars that don't exist. Twice, she turned off the road and started driving in the desert, and you redirected the car by reaching over on the steering wheel. She, is, she should not be driving. She's seeing all kinds of shit that doesn't exist. Okay, I... Ooh. Jessica, give me the wheel instead. You just tell me where we're going. I'm not strong enough to pull off the wheel and give it to him. You... you no, I don't think you are. <laughs> Even if you raise your strength, I don't think you can do that. 
<laughs> you try, sir. I can't give you the wheel. It's stuck here. Oh, my God. Jessica. And then I, like, grab hold of it to, like, keep it steady. Take your hands off the wheel. Tell me where to go. Okay. Jessica hits the brakes and the car, the, the van comes to a screaming stop. Because there's a kid in the way. He's got eyes that are completely blacked out. And he's just looking at you. Blacked out? No, you don't see him. You just saw her stop for no fucking reason in the middle of the, in the, middle of the highway. Oh, okay. Jesus. Right. Jesus, Jessica, what are you doing? Pull over the side. I parked the card, I put the kid, emergency the kid, on, and I tried to... You, and then it just disappears, like, like, wind just flows through him, and he just becomes smoke and disappears. All right. Oh, All right. I quickly open the door, and then slam it, walk around to the other side, open it, move over! And then I get in it. Okay. Where are we going? Okay. Start driving. You demanded she move over. She did move over, and now your oh. compulsion feels satisfied. And you, your beast oh. is to, to lean back a little bit. You. All right. I thought I had the whole reason why I went over there, started knocking on the windows so you could tell me to go away. Yeah. Anyway. So as 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 Jack this starts to come fun. down a bit, you see the neon green sign, but now there are four arrows pointing in different directions, and they're like awesome. taking turns flashing. They're all still pointed north, though. They're just, you know, eventually you're gonna. Have to Where are we going? Oh gosh, um, shoot, um, crap. Okay, what are you guys doing with the guy? Uh, we're just chain cloud memorying him. Okay. Flashy light. Yeah. It's gone in four. It's telling me four different ways. Well, which oh, one's the right one? The oh, the one on the right's over there. That's the one we're on the right mess. there. Wipes the blood out from under his eyes. We're a mess. Am I going the right direction? Yes. Just tell me when I need to start going in a different direction. You're Jack just keeps driving. Really been another way to do it. You're coming up on the uh, the United States prison on the left side. I don't remember what it's called. Um, the federal prison. I think it's a federal prison. a stop sign and then there's a green her green arrow is pointing to the right which is the other way from the prison wait so she telling me to turn around no you're at a you're you're at a at a stop sign like a perpendicular stop sign and the prison is to your left and to the right is just a fucking road Telling you to go that way. Okay. And as we pass the prison, I just think that could be a spot to keep him. Okay, you're All right, I'm driving. Go away. Shit. Well, are we going the right way? A huge, a huge military truck to Janina, to, to Jessica. This huge military truck is blocking the road. And he's not stopping. He's about to crash into it. There's a truck. There's a truck. Move. Get off the road. There's no truck. Pull over, trust me. Three, I, 
Jack starts to slow down. There's no truck, Jessica. And then your car passes into the truck and the truck disappears. Oh, that was another one of those okay. things that don't exist. Shit, okay. God, you're just seeing things? You're... Damn it, you're it just hallucinating and it's... It was a military truck. I guess that means something. At least your hallucinations are keeping a theme. Six, a little six-inch elephant with butterfly wings is flapping around inside the car, like right in front of you. Flying, floating around. Just gonna keep my mouth shut and try to find the thing I need. Okay, yeah, you're, you're not I'm just driving down this road. Big neon signs. You're, you're, are trying, gone. you're concentrating. But it's hard well, to I wonder if I with the cute little elephant looking at you. It lands on the dash, it walks across the dash till it's right in front of Jack, and then it blows it. Trumpets at Jack. Let me just get this out of your way. Get what? Oh my god. We're all gonna die. Okay, so as you're leaning across the dash and, like, trying to shoo away the, the elephant butterfly, you see in, like, on his, instead of his speedometer, there's an arrow that looks like an erect penis. And it's pointing straight up. You don't see the speedometer at all. All you see is this erect penis. I so don't know what to do. Bites you. Bites you. Ouch! Ouch! What do you mean, ouch? It bit me. Okay, so what Jack, bit? You're driving oh down the street. Uh, you're coming to an intersection where there's just one road going off to the right, and there's a little building there. It's a military building, so it has a number on it. It doesn't have a name on it or anything. It doesn't have an address. All it has is a building. And there is a car parked there. And then, I'm... And then the road, you know, the road keeps going straight, and it also, you can turn and go to the right. That looks suspicious, but we can't drive up to that. Um, I had a character. What is our passenger? How is he reacting to our position? If you guys stop fucking with his head for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's, he's kind of panicked. So you have to oh, oh. Yeah, we're just spot memory again I was just trying to see if he would be reacting to the building we're at what that what that building is is a uh, like a visitor center I'm just gonna guess that's where they're keeping her Hey, the I mean, otherwise, the road is still, you know, the road's still going, and then there's the road to the right, and that's where you guys are right now. You need to make the decision to uh, stop at this building, or go straight, or go to the right. I definitely don't want to go the right. Right to the speedometer is still pointing forward. I just want to go straight past it. Like I'm noting it, but. I don't want I just, to. The penis says go that way. The what says go that way? 
The penis says to go that way. Go that way. That's straight. So you keep going straight. Ah. Uh, um. So I'm just gonna drive straight. About, you you go this way for about two miles. You don't see anything else except desert. And then uh, eventually, you start seeing some lights, and you come to a uh, a guard post. Oh god, turn around. Okay, you turn around before you get to the guard post? Yeah, yeah, as soon as I see a post of some kind, like, immediately turn around. Okay. Yeah. Alright, you turn around. As you turn around, the dick arrow turns and is pointing backwards now. Penis it says it's back there. Good. Okay, we're done. So it's there. I'm noting it. Okay. The the guy in the seat behind you, or the uh, Janina, Jessica, the guy Jones yeah. is now a dog, and he's just sitting there with his tongue hanging out, all happy doggy. That's a good boy. Pet the dog. So I'll I'll just I'll just see, yeah I'll, I'll pet the dog and tell him he's a good boy. Okay, yeah. So he's a happy back boy. There and pats the guy in the head. And tells him, You're a good boy. Okay, and you. And you I just shake my head. And you drive back, or you want to sneak? I'm in? driving back. Okay. I'm driving back. We are not trying to sneak in. Heck no. Okay. So uh, yeah, the road back. Like, she does some other stupid weird shit. She brings up the neon sign again. Which the neon sign says it's that way, and she's pointing behind you. Back where yes. came from. And Phenomenal. And you guys get back, and, and her, her compulsion is wearing off. Okay. Um, yeah. We need to just... Now that we're back, we need to just... Because uh, we had sent that message... Now we just need to do the mesmerize and, uh, oh, okay, okay. So, or not the mesmerize, but we need to do the, uh, the, for the forgetful mind to rewrite the memories of the three of them. I hope you roll better. Um, and just, yeah, and just an additional thing of, uh, uh, Jones is when he gets elbowed, he feels the capsule go loose, and that's when he shits his pants. Because okay. he, he was, was worried. It was, yeah, he, he thought he was about to die for a second. Like, he staggers back, like, holds it, and thinks he's about to die, and shits himself, and then realizes he doesn't, and then runs out after Kim. Okay. That was a All right. So, okay, uh, so... Every, for, for every person that has having their mind written, someone needs to make a... Uh, a roll for that. Okay, I'm... Uh, what's her name can do it too, Adriana. I'm also, uh, if possible, would like to uh, get some, like, like, feed on one of them to get a hunger back. Okay. On who? So, I'm just going to do that so I can get my hunger back down to three. Um, I'll take it from James. Just one. Okay, from Jones? Jones, yeah, sorry. And then, uh, I'll look to Jessica and say, okay, why don't you, uh, rewrite, um, Kim's memories as, as we decided. I don't think Jessica can do that. But Adriana can. Oh, can she not? I'm, I'm checking, I don't think so. That's three. I don't think she has three. I didn't have forgetful mind. If I remember correctly, I don't have a forgetful mind. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't. Oh, my bad then. I'm looking. Yeah. Adriana can do. Adriana's more than willing to help. Yeah. Uh, Dominic seems to help. Yeah. All right. Well. 
Yeah, let me do the first one. So I'll do um, I'll do this to uh, Jones. Messy critical. <laughs> wow, you did fucking great, though. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Just completely into that story. And what do we want to do with the messy critical? How can your beast have done this in a physical way? I don't think there is one. So we're just going to get a compulsion event. Uh, what's a fun compulsion? We're going to give you paranoia. The vampire tries to disengage from any perceived threat, suspecting anyone and everything. Well, there isn't one. Eh, whatever. Because we're stopping right now anyway, so. <laughs> okay. We well, next. Yeah, next guy. Um. And then this one you want Adriana to do? Uh. Yeah, so that'll be mine for the next person, then Adriana needs to do one. Alright, please roll for me. Yeah, I got it. It's just maybe a scroll. Scroll! There you go. Scroll! Somebody's hungry. Three successes. So we both got three successes. Okay. Yep, it was all taken care of. Okay. So you guys sit back and watch the carnage as they wake up. Yeah, sort of like we're watching from an alley as they're they've both got Kim pinned to the ground. Yep. And yep. that they have their Jones We just walk for a second. Are taking Kim into custody for uh, his uh, assault on. Uh, Special Agent Baker that accidentally led to Baker's death. Yeah. Yep. And even even and then we'll, we'll, having done. So. Yeah, and we'll slink into the alleyway and uh, then get in our car on the other side, slowly drive off. Okay. And now it's about uh, three in the morning, so it's up to you what you guys want to do with the rest of your night, but we can. If you want to go try and bust her out, if you don't bust her out tonight, it's going to be more difficult. Uh, we'll probably we should probably just wait to try to figure it out. Um, I mean, waiting, we should try waiting to... will give you time to make a better plan, but also waiting. No, no, no. I mean, I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You wait. Guys, yeah, yeah, you guys need to make the decision with my land. If you yeah. guys don't go tonight, then, you know, you'll have the opportunity to make a better plan. But at the same time, they're going to yeah. be more prepared for you. So, you have that, you know, to wait. Alright. Good enough. And, uh, um, everybody gets one experience, oh my god! Except for Adriana. An NPC doesn't She's already buffer than all of the other. Hey. Boy, bro, okay. Michael Bright was quiet today. Yeah, he's quiet a lot. <laughs> I've we'll got a question Michael real quick. Is the one who brought up the idea of maybe we can uh, dominate the guy to to drive you, because that was my idea. Yeah, yeah, that makes um, sense. What else can we do? So we'll say that Bright brought that up. Yeah, I have a question real quick. Okay. Um. When do we have to roll things like humanity? Like, I see there's a thing for, like, remorse. Okay, so, if, whenever you think that there's a stain on your humanity, like, you could have that today because uh, the way Baker died, uh, or if you do anything that causes a stain on your humanity, then you, you mark on the humanity tracker the little, uh, the, the slash, and that means that you have a stain. At the end of the session, then you make a remorse check. And it rolls one die for every blank space on your humanity track. And if you get a success, then you lose all of your stains. If you fail, you don't get a success, then you lose all of your stains and you lose a point of humanity. Okay. I, because my chronicle is the badge... And I feel a sense of uh, 
community with all law enforcement or suitable analogs, whether it's kindred or human or whatever, yeah. I feel like I have taken a stain okay. so and would like to make a remorse check. Yeah. So mark off one of your uh, empty slots with the slash. I have. And should we wait until like this whole like arc no, is over? No. You do it every do it now? Okay, I'll make a remorse check. Get a and success, you so you pass. So you lose your stain, but you, and you did not lose your humanity. Okay, because that is like the fact that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, an agent died, and it's his fault. Right, is gonna stick with Jack, mm -hmm. and the fact that Kim is gonna be possibly, yeah, well, that Kim is gonna think he killed him. Would you like me to make another remorse roll for like a second, assuming? Well, you know what? We'll do it next time. Okay. Help me remember that uh, we're going to give you one stain for next time, so that next time you have to do it again. Because we already Okay. It. Really, this whole story is kind of, you know, digging into Jack. So that's what, that's what we want. Yeah. Did everybody get experience? Well, I need to put it for Janina. I put mine. Yes, please. Jimmy, you put your experience? Are you still here? I haven't heard you in a while. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I added mine. Okay, cool. Okay, now you have an 11. We're already at 40 days. We've been playing for a long time. I'm at. That means 14. we've been playing for over a year. Yeah, we have been. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys have anything you want to say before I stop the recording? Mm. No, I just well, reala re realized that I could have used intimidate because of the the fair the eyes of the yeah, beast. The eyes, the eyes help with your intimidate. Well, yeah. I mean, oh well, live and learn. Pretty young, so keep that in mind. That he doesn't come up with all of these things yet. Okay, mm, we're gonna stop recording. Everybody, say goodbye. Bye. 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 And we're done.